Ooh. So I did it guys. Yes, I switched and specifically to a MacBook Air M2. Now, you guys are probably shocked because of course, I use a PC on a regular basis. I do a lot of gaming. I talk about PCs and I've really, never really spent a lot of time on the MacBook Air or the MacBooks in general. And this is a good opportunity to do this. I got this device from Apple and I thought, well, you know what? I might as well. Now, before we go ahead, I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor of this video, Insta360. They've got a brand new webcam and honestly, you have to see it, so stay tuned to check it out. So let's talk about my experience with the MacBook Air M2, 30 days. I used it 30 days, I used it mostly, I still had to do some stuff on my PC, but this was my main device. And I did a bunch of things with it. I did some editing, um, I also did some gaming on there, uh, but also I took it with me everywhere. And that's one of the first things about this device is the hardware. Um, Apple does a really good job at building good hardware and I think it really shows with the M2 because of course, it doesn't require any active cooling, we know that, but it's easy to carry around, it's lightweight. I like the weight distribution around the device so you flip it around, you throw it, don't do that to your MacBook Air, but it's comfortable enough to take around with you anyway, and I like that aspect. I also like the redesigned look of it, and for me, that's also key because it felt more like a laptop to me than say a Mac. I've always had this distinction of Macs are very different, and I like just this simplistic look to it. Now, the other thing of course is Touch ID. Touch ID is great because, um, as a PC user, I'm very used to Windows, you know, Windows Hello, where I use my webcam to sign in really quite quick. So of course, doing the same thing with Touch ID works really well. Now this device comes with two USB Type-C ports that are Thunderbolt 4 and a MagSafe port. Now MagSafe is great. I like the fact that a lot of people want this. For me, I have not touched it once at all. I've been using the USB Type-C ports to charge. I have a PD charger. I don't even use the Apple charger. I've got the new one from Anchor that does, you know, 65 watts, 120 watts, so on and so forth. I use those and I'd rather have more USB Type-C ports on this device because I think it just makes it more flexible. You know, it doesn't have to be a pro, it doesn't have to have, you know, four, but a third one would be great. I would get rid of the, you know, MagSafe port in general. Now, the other thing about this device is you have that notch right there on the screen, and the screen is lovely. It's a good looking display, not as sharp as I would personally like, but I think Apple still does a good job with their retina displays, making it very vibrant. You see that image of Hollow Ichigo, it looks really good. And of course, you can use the link down below to download that wallpaper. But you have that notch, and that notch, of course, is where the webcam is. Now, I use a webcam constantly because I've got Zoom calls and Teams meetings and a lot of conference calls just to jump in on a day-to-day. -day. And Apple says they've improved it to a 1080p webcam. So I want to show you what I see on that webcam and why I think it's just not that great. Now, speaking of the webcam on the MacBook Air M2, it's upgraded to 1080p. I've got lights in front of me, but the quality is not what I would expect. This brings us to our sponsor of this video, which of course is Insta360 with the InstaLink webcam. And honestly, let's take a look at that. This is the InstaLink 360 webcam, and this is a really superior webcam. I love it because it's a 4K webcam. You can, of course, change the resolution to whatever you want, lower it down to 1080p. Now, you're seeing the tracking option on the webcam, which means if I move side to side, it tracks with me because this is this webcam is placed on a gimbal. I have it here placed on top of my MacBook Air M2, but you can also put it on a tripod. You can put it on the side. You can move it around. In this case, you can see me just move it right here and then move it back. Uh, now, the webcam has some really cool functionality within the app that allows for tracking, as you're seeing right now. There is a whiteboard functionality. There also is an overhead mode, so if you want to do overhead shots. And then there is a desk view mode, so I can use the desk view mode to switch hands in front of me here. Uh, plus, you do have full control of the gimbal to whatever you want to do. And then you also have image settings where you can customize the way you want the image to look, have it saved as presets, and you have gesture controls like palm for auto tracking, you can do an L, and you can do a V-shape, there's AI zoom, there's half body zoom, there's whole body, you name it. 
This is a really cool webcam and honestly, probably the best webcam I've used on a laptop or desktop and definitely worth it for the MacBook Air M2. So one of the big things about the MacBook Air M2 is battery life. And that is something we saw from the MacBook Air M1, but experiencing it on a day-to-day -day is really fascinating. Now I got the chance to travel a couple of times with the MacBook Air M2 and I will say this, as a PC user, that fear of not being able to have your battery last for a full day uh, just isn't there. I mean, after one day it dissipated, I was able to take this with me wherever I went. And I, I've rarely charged this on a constant basis. I usually just uh, would use it for a couple of days and then I realize, oh, I haven't charged it, then I need to charge it, you know? And that's that peace of mind is really good. I really appreciate this. And as a PC user, I would love to see this on laptops or PCs uh, just because it does such a really good job where, hey, look, if you are, uh, checking email, you're watching stuff on the web, handling spreadsheets. There's no reason for you to not have this kind of battery life. So I really appreciate this in this device. Now, the other thing, of course, is the performance, right? And, you know, we've seen the benchmarks. I've also done a comparison between uh, Intel's latest uh, 12th gen and AMD's 6000 series uh, versus the M2. Definitely go check that out to see those, you know, speeds and specs. But this is about performance in my day to day. And for me, that means editing. And granted, I don't do most of my editing. That is, of course, to Mr. Daniel Sin behind the camera. I sometimes do some editing and usually that would take me like, you know, five days because I'm slow. But one of the beauties of having this device is the fact that I use Adobe Premiere and scrubbing through video is super smooth, very fast, very responsive. But also rendering video takes really quick and fast time. And again, if you go back to my comparison video, you see the MacBook Air M2 was the fastest to render and they did it without being plugged in. That's very key. And I think, you know, as a PC user, we know this. Yeah, we can get fast performance, but we have to plug it in. The Dell XPS 13 Plus is a device I have that can do really well performance-wise, but I need to plug it in. I don't have to on this device. And I still have a lot of juice left, which is great. So there are many things to really like about this device. So you're probably thinking, Thunder E, you're probably gonna switch to MacBook. Ah, not so much. Now. As much as I love the hardware, a lot of the performance, Mac OS and me just don't go together. And I'm not saying it's bad, I don't think it's terrible, I think it's just for a different type of user. And then there's some things that I just don't care for. One of the things that really just kind of irks me um, is uninstalling software. Now, it's quite easy to do it, but sometimes it just doesn't work drag and drop into the trash can. Some people have given me different methods. I still have some software that's just won't uninstall. I don't know why. Now, most likely that has to do with the software manufacturer itself, but I do like the ease of just right clicking on Windows or going to uninstall and uninstalling my software. Now, the idea of dragging and dropping works, and I'm sure some people tell me you're doing it wrong. I'm just giving you my experience. Now, the other thing that really irks me is the fact that there is no back button. And I know it might be very silly for some, but for me, it's just it, something I'm used to on a keyboard. And yes, I can use command and delete to use that functionality for both delete and backspace, but there is no backspace button on the keyboard. And I'm sure Apple could fit it in here. They don't want to, it's just the way they work. That to me kind of irks me. But again, software is just preference wise, more than anything else. Now, I think overall though, when you look at the MacBook Air M2 and me using it for 30 days, it's been a, a fun experience. Hardware has been good, performance has been great. What this shows me is what, you know, the PC side has been lacking and I would like to see. And mind you though, this is only something Apple has benefited in the last two years. So this is not something they've always had, at least from my viewpoint. I would say, look, if you're a Mac user, definitely pick this up. This is honestly a solid device that will meet all your needs. You don't have to build out a super expensive unit. You can get what I'm using here, which is the eight gigabytes 256 uh, model, and that's all you need for 
you know, all the work you need to do. Now, if you need more storage, because maybe you're recording more video and things like that, sure, get more storage. But honestly, this device is absolutely solid. Will I switch to it? No, because I still like PCs, but honestly, just pick it up. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is Thunder saying thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And also, if you really want a good webcam, definitely check out the Insta360 link because it's probably the best, best webcam I've seen so far. And always enjoy entertainment.